Good day, Virtual Pilots, it's Requiem. Today we're going to have a look at the Albatross D5A. Starting off here, we've got the Magneto and the Bosch starting Magneto. Coming towards the front, we've got the Inclinometer, Altimeter and Kilometers. Here's the Tachometer. Then you've got the Bullet Counter, Fuel Pressure and Cockpit Light. Here's the Clock and the Fuel Air System Controls. Fuel gauge and coming down, you got the manual hand pump for air pressure if the engine pump fails, magnetic compass on the left of the stick. There is the throttle with the machine gun triggers, and coming outside is your water temperature. This is what you regulate by using the radiator shutters. When you push them forward like that, that'll open them up, and pulling them back will make them completely closed. Then out on the wing, this is your airspeed indicator in kilometers per hour. So to start this airplane, all we need to do is just press E, and the automated sequence will take over, and we'll start the engine. And then you can look at the pilot's notes for the Albatross D5A. Now the engine is started, there's no mixture to adjust, so we can just open up the water radiator shutters all the way. Then we'll increase the power to over 1200 RPM to get ourselves rolling. So a little bit more power so we can get ourselves moving. And then once you are starting to move, you can bring the power back a little bit if you like. We'll just continue moving along here. And we'll get ready to make that left hand turn and we'll take off. Alright, so we'll have a little bit of left rudder. Now we'll bring the airplane around to the left. Line ourselves up. We can bring it up to full power. That's some forward pressure on the stick to get the tail off the ground. The plane's going to be slowly accelerating while we do this. You're going to start to feel it get a little bit lighter on the controls. The plane's ready to take off. So you're a little bit of back pressure, and then you're airborne. And during that takeoff, you're not going to be looking at the airspeed indicator on the wing at all. So the takeoff is going to be mainly done by feel. So on the climb, you maintain about this kind of a pitch attitude. And this should give you an airspeed of 100 km per hour, which is a good climb airspeed in the Albatross. So here we're just going to maintain this, we'll continue our climb and then we're going to make that left turn to stay in the pattern here and we'll look at how to land the Albatross. So for landing the Albatross DVA, on downwind you'll set your throttle to about 1100 RPM and this will slow you down to around about 100 km per hour. That reduced throttle setting, you want to keep the engine warm so we're going to close the water radiator completely and then by the end of downwind you're going to bring the throttle back to idle and your base to final turn will be about 100 km per hour. So we're going to continue climbing up to around about our pattern altitude. We're going to level it off once we run this downwind. We've got our reduced power setting. We're going to try and maintain that 100 km per hour on the downwind. So we're going to close up those water radiator shutters. Help keep the engine warm. Then we can have ourselves a quick check of the airspeed. That's about right. So we just continue flying along, flying along on the downwind. We're coming up on the aiming point in a few more seconds. Alright, getting up to it now, so we're going to bring the throttle back to idle. Allow the airplane to pitch down so we can maintain 100 km per hour. Since the Albatross can glide pretty well, we're going to extend out this downwind just a little bit further because it's not going to descend as fast as other airplanes. So we're going to make a very nice gradual turn all the way around for final. And if you're making a left hand pattern like this, it may be a little bit hard to check the airspeed. 
So this is where it's important to understand your pitch attitude based on the idle power setting. So there we're maintaining about 100 km per hour which is fine. So our pitch is good. However if you were making a right hand turn for the pattern then you could check it much easier. So as we continue coming around, the aiming point disappears under the wing just slightly. And we'll continue flying towards it. Rolling out on final. Going to bring the wings back to level. And we'll get ready to do a three point landing. So attitude is good, so we know our airspeed is going to be good. Flying towards the aiming point nicely. When we start getting close to the ground, we're going to bring it level. I'm going to bring it up into a three point attitude and hold it off as long as possible. When we touch down, full back pressure to keep the tail skid digged into the ground to help us slow down. And you're going to use that rudder to keep straight along with the burst of throttle to give yourself that rudder authority you need to keep straight. And then once you're down to a slow enough taxi speed, you can turn left and get away from the field. So that completes this tutorial for the Albatross D5A. If you enjoyed it, be sure to share it with your friends and become a subscriber. And until next time, always remember to fly safe and check your six.